what is up YouTube welcome to another video and in today's video I'm gonna be teaching you how to make this taco outfit right here with the duffel bag I don't have the duffel bag on me um, but I can teach you how to get that in the video it's optional this is what it looks like without it and at the end you can see what it looks like with the duffel bag uh, for me I like the duffel bag so yeah um, so the first thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you guys what um what what you're supposed to get so what what you're supposed to get before you start doing the glitch on your main character that you want so the main thing you're gonna want is you wanna go to outfits and you're gonna wanna buy an outfit so you're gonna wanna go to you're gonna wanna go to buy outfits you're gonna wanna go all the way down to where is it biker suits you're gonna wanna buy the black biker suit right here. You're also gonna want to go into not actually maybe I don't know, no no not body suits okay. You're gonna want to go into arena war body suits and then you're gonna want to go all the way down until you get to the pro blue galaxy body suit. You're also gonna want to go to a mask shop and buy this taco head, um, which is in arena war. Uh, masks so it's in the arena war masks and you're also gonna want to head over to an ammunition so let me just go to the ammunition really quickly it's not even that far um, but yeah you're gonna want to go to an ammunition shop go to gear uh, the gear section which is right over here just give me one second right here and then you're gonna want to buy a just the rebreather the regular rebreather once you have all of that, you will be set to do and start the glitch. So, to start this glitch off, you don't actually you don't even need to be on it. So you're gonna want to go. You want to first make sure your thing is set. Spawn location is last location right here, and that's also the last thing you need. Um, but now just go into options online. Once you have all this stuff, sorry, you're gonna want to go to swap character, and you're just gonna press OK. So I'll meet you guys once we're in the screen. All right. So now once you're in this little screen, you're gonna wanna your main character, which is right here, right here on the left side, and the character that you're gonna be deleting on the right side. So you're gonna wanna do is go into this. You wanna start editing the character. Um, if it's a boy on this side, don't worry, it's okay. You need to have a female character though. So just wait for her to walk. Uh, if you get this alert, just press yes. Doesn't really matter. Um, and just wait until you can create the character. So just wait. Um, if it's not a ma if it's a male, just change it to female right there, and then save and continue. Uh, just name it some random name, and take the picture, and yeah. Uh, now what's gonna happen is you're gonna load into online. You're gonna have the Diamond Casino cutscene. Um, I'll skip ahead in the video once that's all loaded in and done. All right. Now what you're in. You're just gonna want to make sure you don't walk over to the casino because you'll walk in by accident and start up in a whole new cutscene. You're gonna want to make your way over to a closing store. Now, if a closing store doesn't spawn in as it didn't for me, all you're gonna want to do is just go in online and just find a new session, like so. Um, I'll get back to you once I find that new session. Alright, once you've loaded in, or if you haven't, just make your way over to any clothes store. Wait, I'm just going to go to that one. So just go ahead, drive over there real quickly. Shouldn't take too long. So what you're going to also want, though, is you're going to be buying multiple, um, multiple, what's it called, multiple outfits. So yeah, just get ready. It's you're gonna have to get multiple outfits. So once you go there, go in. 
you're gonna want to first make sure you're not wearing any earrings so just go into the accessory section earrings and just put equipped no earrings like so all right now you're gonna want to make your over uh, make your way over to the pants section you're gonna want to go to utility pants and you want to buy the black battle pants so yeah right here the black battle pants next you're gonna want to head over to the tops section you're gonna want to buy the um, leather bomber jackets and you're gonna want to buy multicolor SN closed if it's open if it's open by any chance, all you're going to want to do is go into your inventory. I mean, go pull up your hot menu, style, and go down all the way until it says jacket, and you can open and close it. You just want to make sure it's closed. Then you're going to want to go over to, what's it called? Go over to the, um, what's it called? The uh, accessory section, sorry. Then you're going to want to buy the light woodland tactical gloves. So here, gloves and a light woodland tactical. And then once you do that, just go over to the uh, um, clothing. You want to buy glasses. And you're going to want to go over and buy, once we got to find that gonna want to go and buy I oh got I can't find the glasses right now the copper marble glasses so you want to go to casual glasses and buy the copper marble um, glasses let me find these real quick <laughs> um, where is it is it here I think it's this one yeah it is okay uh, casual glasses and you're gonna want to buy the copper marble so it's right here copper marble glasses purchase those then you're going to want to go over and save the outfit into your second save slot like so so go in outfits put it in your second save slot just name it anything you want okay whatever save all right there we go then you're gonna want to make one more outfit which you're gonna want to go to your pants section now you want to go to sports pants by the first ones that pop up the spotted muscle pants then you're gonna want to go back to tops you're gonna want to go to jackets or I mean sorry work jackets and you want to peach camo closed field then you're gonna go into um, uh, gun running t-shirt, no tuck t-shirt, sorry. Go to tuck t-shirts and buy the, what's it called? The brown, the blue digital t-shirt, which is 75 out of 92. Purchase that. Then you're gonna wanna go over to your shoe section, I believe. Uh, what was it? It's boot? No, not boots. Um, high heel boots. Sorry. Yeah. Went. Yeah, high heel boots and buy the. Where is that? Deluxe midnight. Wait, what? Hang on. Okay, am I right? High heel boots, deluxe. What the hell? What? Okay. <laughs> I'll skip ahead until we have to get back into those high heels. Alright, I'm sorry about that, guys. So, you're gonna want to go to boots. Alright, sorry. Get into that. High heel boots. And you're gonna want to buy the. You're gonna want to go into buy high heel boots. You're gonna want to get the. 
uh, what is it called? The Deluxe Midnight Combat. So, Deluxe Midnight Combat, which... Deluxe Midnight Combat... Deluxe Midnight Combat. Alright. Now you're going to want to go over and just save the outfit. Uh, which... You save it to the third outfit. Uh, make sure that saves yeah all right once you do that you just want to kill yourself so the game saves itself all right now once you do that you want to go in online creator press ok Alright, you want to create a race, then create a land race. It's going to load you in again. Uh, just go into your race details. Um, you're going to want to just make it random. Description, you're going to want to make it random. Like, it doesn't really matter what you type, sorry. Take a random photo, like so. But this is the most important part now. You're going to want to set your maximum players to two players. You're going to want to put route type to point to point. And you're going to want to make your class super, and then the Furia is the vehicle. Then you're going to want to back out. You're going to want to press the options menu. You're going to want to warp all the way over to the airport, which is right here. Alright, once you've warped there, you want to click placement. Place the trigger. Place the trigger at the bottom of the racetrack. And then back up. Go to lobby camera. Just take a random picture again. Go to checkpoints and just place random, like, just place checkpoints until you get um, the race length, the 0.71 miles. So, boom. Boom. And boom. Then you're going to want to back out all the way until it says test. And you just want to test the race. So, once you load in, just drive your Furia. Uh, and just finish the race like so. So we'll just do this real quick. Okay. <laughs> Come on. All right. Once you finish the race, you're going to press OK. Then you want to press the options menu. Go to online. Choose character and just load that up. Like so. I'm going to fast forward this until we get in. OK. Once we're in. You're just going to want to go to your female character. You want to press um, delete. Press yes. And then just type delete to delete the character. Your female character, sorry. Once you do that and they walk back out, blah, blah, blah. You're going to have your main character on the left. And you're going to have your default character, which the game will give you on the right. You want to press circle to go into story mode. So it's going to quit the session. Uh, fast forward this until we're in story mode. Okay, once you're in story mode now, you're going to want to go to online. You're just going to want to click play GT online and, on and start up an invite only session. I'll fast forward this until I get into the invite only session. Alright, once you're loaded in, you're just going to want to make your way over to option. Alright, wait, actually check to make sure your outfits have saved. So go here, you see the two saved outfits. You're going to then want to go 
into options, online, jobs, play job, rockstar created. You want to go to missions, and you want to load up crooked cop. Wait, no, not missions. Uh, versus, sorry, crooked cop. You want to load this, start up this job. It should load the job uh, as you hosting it. So wait until you're hosting it. You're gonna want to make your clothing type player owned and confirm the settings. Then you're gonna want to invite one of your friends. So I'm just gonna invite my friend real quick. Uh, I'm gonna invite one of my friends. All right, shocks. I invited you to my thing. Alright, and just wait for him to join and start up the thing. I'll fast forward until we're inside the mission. Alright, sorry. Now, once you get into this screen, um, you guys are going to want to press your right on the D-pad twice. You're going to have this outfit, and then you're going to have this outfit right here. So you got these two outfits. You're going to want to then press ready to play. So we're just ready up to start the mission. And don't worry, the glasses don't really matter. You don't really need them. Uh, that are on my face, as you can see. So wait for the mission to load up. And the other player that's in, like your friend, he doesn't have to do anything. Just make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. All right. Just, you can like run around and do something. Don't really matter. You want to press up on your D-pad. Go, no, sorry, not that. Uh, you want to go in, style, accessories, and just put on the rebreather, like so. Once you do that, you're just going to want to go in, put a job. And then you're going to want to quit the job, like so. So what it does is it's going to save the outfit. So once you quit the job, you should load in and have an outfit saved. I'm going to fast forward this so you can see what the outfit looks like. Alright, now once this spawns in. You're going to want to run down all the way over to the ammunition, which is right down the road. So just run over there. Make sure you don't get in any car or else it will glitch the outfit. Make sure you don't change anything. Just make sure you go to ammunition. You're then going to want to go to the right, which is right over here. Go to outfits. You want to edit saved outfits and you want to save it to any slot that you want. Just name it whatever you want uh, save that outfit all right make sure it's saved so go to style all right it's saved there you go now once it's saved you can have this specific outfit with the white shoes and stuff um you're gonna want to then head over to an apartment it doesn't really matter what Apartment, so just make your way to your apartment complex. I'll meet you when I'm there. All right, now once you're in your apartment, make sure you're in your apartment when you do this step. You're gonna want to go in to your style. You're gonna want to go to accessories, and you want to put on the masks, which is the taco head so yeah there you go now you're gonna want to make your way over the telescope you want to look through the um you want to sprint past the telescope um and press right under the d-pad so you go into the telescope but you don't actually go in it so you just sprint spam right in the d-pad make sure you don't go in it might take a couple tries i'm not the greatest at it so it's gonna take me a couple tries just spare with me here All right, just bear with me. Uh, all right, now once you're there, you wanna equip the glitched outfit or whatever outfit you have. Back out, just walk a little bit, and the taco head should appear on your face. Then you're gonna wanna go all the way down 
to your little outfit area or your clothes change clothes area you don't want to then go there you want to edit save outfits you want to enter your glitched you want to confirm the save blah 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 there we go and you can delete the other two outfits now so just go ahead delete the other two outfits and you only have that one outfit now make sure you have that saved okay you do I'm gonna see if I can change the shoes I'm not the biggest fan of the shoes I haven't tried to change the shoes before so I don't know if you can or not yeah no you can't so yeah you can't change the shoes sadly but yeah um there you go but there you go that's the um whole outfit um and the optional part if you want so the mask is also optional you don't really have to do the mask but next to the optional part which is the um duffel bag so what you're sadly going to need for the duffel bag glitch um if you want the specific duffel bag you're going to want to get um two things it doesn't really matter what just make your way over to an ammunition store and also it doesn't really matter um it doesn't really matter what uh um, wait no I, i'm being retarded uh you're also gonna need any nightclub with a terabyte so you're gonna make sure you need a terabyte for this um so go over though before you even need the terabyte you want to go to your weapons and you're just going to want to buy a parachute a specific type of parachute you're going to want to get the specific type of parachute which is called par which go to parachute bag sorry go down all the way until you see the israel shoot bag right here make sure you have that and you're also going to need your terabyte terabyte isn't that hard you it's expensive but once you get the terabyte you'll be good um, so what you're going to want to do is just request your terabytes or services terabyte request terabyte also you're going to want to register as the CEO for this so wait for your terabyte to spawn in I'll speed this up and once I'm in the terabyte All right, once you're in the terabyte, you're going to want to access your touchscreen computer. Uh, come on. All right, there you go. You're going to want to activate your touchscreen computer. Go to client jobs and start up a job called robbery in progress. Confirm that. And all you're going to want to do is you want to complete the mission, but just wait a little bit. Uh, so you want to hack into security. Um, so you're just going to complete the mission, get the duffel bag, and once I have the duffel bag, I'll tell you, like, just get the duffel bag, and I'll tell you what to do after you get the duffel bag. So just wait, uh, just complete the mission until you get the duffel bag. I'm going to speed this up until I get the duffel bag. All right, once you get the gold, all you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna escape the cops. Um, you're gonna wanna particularly escape the cops in something that you can fly in, like the oppressor or the um, whatever it's called, or the buzzard. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and call Lester. So let's give me one second, just load up, call Lester. Escape the cops. Well, tell him to, to get the cops off me. There we go. Uh, this is why you're gonna want a flying um, part. Is you're gonna want to fly above the yellow um, drop-off point, and you're gonna want to try and land on top the yellow um, point. If you don't, it's okay. Just run into it. It's better. It's preferably better to land inside of the yellow drop-off point. You don't need to. Just relatively better to do that. So you want to fly up. 
um, until you can jump into the yellow point like so so jump out all right now once you do that just go ahead fly down get to the yellow drop-off point like so gonna want to go if you don't land in it it's okay like as you can see I don't I didn't land in it so it's all good just go to it there you go yeah uh, your duffel bag is gonna then disappear um you're then gonna want to either definitely call in your um, buzzard or have your presser in um so yeah so yeah you're definitely gonna want that you're gonna want to go ahead get in your presser or thing get back out go into style go to your parachute now you're gonna want the israel shoot bag which is right here and you want to equip it put it on you're then gonna want to fly all the way to the mask shop which is right over here so as we're flying there you're gonna want to fly higher above the mask shop so I'll just speed this up until I'm gonna jump out or tell you the next instructions all right now once you're ready you're gonna want to fly pretty high above it you're gonna want to jump out of your oppressor or buzzard you're then gonna want to um, land into the mask shop and spam right on the d-pad so like me so ready don't oh, okay so okay I got the glitch don't worry just I'll just fly back up it doesn't really matter too much as long uh, you can do this as many times as you want it can lag and glitch and all that stuff but preferably it wants to be your first time because your first time will be 100 percent it will work for me it doesn't really matter because i didn't pull my shoot out so i'm just gonna land and get back on my oppressor uh i got the stupid glitch where you go out and it just flies down just fly back up like so do 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 and then you're gonna want to jump out spam your parachute you're gonna want to then glide all the way until you get to the mask shop and you want to fall you're gonna want to fall and stumble so just watch me before you attempt to doing it attempt at doing this so then you're gonna want to spam right on the d-pad and you're gonna get in and then you're gonna want to edit saved outfits you want to save confirm the save on your outfit boom you want to back out gonna want to walk away like this gonna want to go back gonna want to go to style click your glitched outfit and boom the black duffel bag should be on your skin once it's on your skin just go ahead kill yourself so it then saves the set outfit like so and boom go to style glitched and there you go you now permanently have the black duffel bag as your uh, on your character all right I hope you guys have a good one I hope you guys enjoyed the um, black duffel bag and your outfit uh, I really like my outfit I uh, hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next GTA modded, or not modded, um, glitched video. Peace.